Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Home Depot founder risks entire company with shock announcement. Trump's doing IT anyway. Major retailers around the nation have become battlegrounds for political correctness, using their businesses as soapboxes to make social statements. In a time when online business has disrupted the retail market and big box stores are diminishing by the dozen, it doesn't seem wise to polarize your customer base with a divisive stance. Home Depot's number one competition, Lowe's, has proven to stay true to their core values in the American people, especially our nation's heroes and their families. Meanwhile, their counterpart has received some pretty bad press over the past two to three years regarding an apparent disrespect for the military. Most of this seemed to occur at the store level and not a decision condoned or approved by the corporation especially since the CEO of the home improvement giant is a major Trump supporter, a fact the founder has not been shy about. Now the man responsible for the fate of his retail business has just risked his entire company in making a sudden shock announcement. Prior to today, when Trump was campaigning to be president, Home Depot founder Ken Longoni told CNBC that if he pulls off a win, he could go down as one of our greatest presidents ever. It was a sentiment in which the majority of Americans proved to agree with having voted him into office. Now, we're seeing his support for our president in an even bigger way and more importantly, Longoni's commitment to make America great again in a special way that has left military families in America in total shock. What many American businesses, sports figures, and celebrities get routinely wrong is that they make political statements in vain to say they are against division, when they are really being an anti-American and perpetuating the problem. This often includes using their platform to publicly trash our president. Home Depot knows that while they may offend some people, they are promoting something better with their patriotism that we as a country can and should all get behind. In this recent move, they are showing their appreciation in a big way for the men and women who fight for our freedom and right to make any social statement we want. Fox Business Reports The Home Depot Foundation, a leadership arm for the company founded by Bernie Marcus, Arthur Blank and with the help of Ken Longoni, hammer down on its pledge to closing the gap among skilled laborers in America. It announced Thursday it would commit $50 million to train 20,000 tradespeople over the next 10 years, starting with separating military members and veterans, at-risk youth and members of the Atlanta Westside community, in an effort to reduce the number of unfilled construction sector jobs in the U.S. currently, there are 158,000 unfilled jobs in the sector according to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which projects the total employment number of construction laborers to increase 10.5% by 2026. As Fox Business reported, many six-figure jobs in the sector are going unfilled. We want to bring shop class back, from coast to coast, Shannon Gerber, executive director of the Home Depot Foundation, said in a statement. We are thrilled to train 20,000 next-generation plumbers, electricians, carpenters and beyond. It's a true honor to welcome our first classes of separating soldiers as they transition to civilian life and into successful careers in the trades. To those who don't value the sacrifice of our service members or recognize that these heroes are the backbone of our country, they probably think this is somehow unfair. They are probably also the same disgruntled people who left Lowe's in boycott and took their business to Home Depot after Lowe's proudly pulled their ads from appearing in the commercial spots during the All-American Muslim show on the TLC network. Now. Disgruntled anti-American shoppers will have nowhere to go, realizing that their message isn't appreciated anywhere. Just as Lowe's probably lost far fewer customers than they gained from that move, Home Depot probably won't miss them either. Business is booming for those who choose to respect our country and the values this nation was built on, which is how it should be. The same can't be said for companies who continue to cater to the liberal agenda. The country needs to see more of this and likely will within the next four years under President Donald Trump's leadership. He constantly praises our military which is how it always should be. American businesses should look at what Home Depot does for our military members and how they treat them and follow their lead. It's beyond time for this to be the trend as opposed to who can make a bigger anti-American social justice statement. Well done, Home Depot. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.